Okay, it's gonna show you what I got done so far. As you can see, the top is still a little wet because when I started to sand here, it kind of runs some of the color. So I just stopped. Um, but as far as the rest of it, it, it turned out exactly like how I wanted it to. And it just kind of gives you an idea of what it's gonna look like uh, before we put the um, glaze on. And another thing too that I wanted just to mention about the Pure Earth uh, paint, whenever you sand it, I'm really surprised at how smooth it is whenever you sand. It's almost like you have wet sanded it. So that's a great plus. I really like the feel of it. I mean, it is just, it's really slick and smooth. Um, I really like that. But anyway, that's where we are so far. Okay, we're ready to put on the glaze now. As you can see, I've already put some up here on this and wiped it back. And I'm using um, a toner. It's made by uh, Caramel Colors. It's really a deep dark, uh, brown chocolate, which kind of gives it a yellow cast. And that's what I was going for with this. So, um, just I put it on pretty generous. Although I'm going to be wiping most of it back. That way I can get it down in the crevices really well. I like you can do all this with a chip brush and um, just throw them in some water, rinse them out, and you're done. I'll show you. And then I use gauze, uh, or you can use soft uh, cotton shirt. And then you just wipe it back. Either you can, uh, and if it's too dark, you can always add a little bit of water and lighten the color up a little bit and then sometimes I'll kind of do a little figure eight thing there and that way it pulls off all of the uh, eliminate a lot of the drag marks that you might get so that's uh, the glaze and uh, once we're done we'll all come back and show you the finished project and two I was going to tell you that a lot of times uh, at my table like this, I'll do the whole leg, the underneath, all the way around, and then I will wipe my glaze back. It's a lot easier that way because if you put it on, you wipe it off in one area, and then you put it on the other side where it's going to overlap, and it may cause you issues with uh, where you've already wiped off. Uh, after I got all the glaze on, I uh, wanted to show you what I did to add just a little bit more of a highlight in here. I waited until the glaze was dry, and then I just used some, I believe it's 120, uh, yes, 120 grit sandpaper. Of course, it's been uh, used very well, as you can see, but I just took and just kind of drug it, just like that, and it just barely gave me a little bit of a of the white. I really like that. So I kind of wanted to show you how I did that. It's nothing, you know, you can do it or you don't have to do it. You can just leave it as is. But I liked the effect that I got from it, uh, like that right there. I hope you all have learned something. And if you want any information, uh, any more information, just uh, check out the blog and leave me a message, email me, or call me. Thank you.